Hello and welcome. My name is Hatchers2006 and today I'm going to show you how to cross flash your TP-Link TDW8980 to the bigger brother the TP-Link TDW9980 and special thanks goes to Shadowdoom and Antonio TR Kids I'm sorry mate if I butchered that for you for their contribution of actually showing you how to get this done and their relevant threads and blog posts which I will link down in the description now in order to do this cross flashing business we're going to need a TTL adapter in USB format your router the computer and an RJ45 connection connected up between obviously the PC and the router now let's get started on the whole thing so the first thing we need to do is basically power up the device head off to the web GUI because we need to factory reset it so you factory reset it by dialing in the original IP which is 192.168.1.1 now it might take a while to load up so don't panic we'll just give it a couple more seconds to see what happens and see if we can actually get that connection going and there you go and then we'll type in admin admin if it's brand new obviously if it's not brand new you type in obviously your username and password and you obviously your IP for your, your subnet and then all we're going to do is go systems factory defaults and click restore now in my case I've already done it so I don't have to do it again and you just press OK but in my case I'm going to press cancel because it takes a while to do so and then what we're going to do after that we're actually going to power down the router again so we've now got a fresh router fully reset so that after we finish flashing we don't have to reset it anyway because of a stupid error popping up our next thing is to connect the USB TTL up to the serial headers that you would have soldered on so here's the pinout for that now if you're using a full pin the first pin towards the CPU heatsink is a VCC pin a voltage pin you do not connect that up as it can severely damage not only just the router the TTL adapter and possibly if freaky happens your USB port all we need is the ground RX and the TX what you probably have noticed is the TX and the RX ports are different between the cable and the router that's because they are switched over so from the cable your TX cable goes into the RX pinout which is pad 3 and the RX cable in my case is white goes to the TX pin which is pad 4 once you've done that you have one part on the checklist done what we next need to do well in advance of everything is change the IP on the Ethernet so we get it out of the way now and we also need to make sure the firewall if you have one is switched off it has to be in my case I'm using ESET so I now go to setup and in this case mine is disabled and after you disable the firewall we now head into the network manager which with Windows 7 and above it's right click on the network icon brings you into network and sharing center click change adapter we use an Ethernet and we'll right click on that and Bob's your uncle we now click TCP IPv4 and change the IP from obtain automatically to 192.168.1.100 and press tab which will automatically put you on the right sub mask now we click OK now we know that section is done we are now ready to test putty against the router to make sure our 
TTL connection is working. So to do that, we go right click device manager to find out what port we connected to, which in this instance is COM port four. If you've got prolific, I suggest you install the driver and then go into device manager girl update browse let me pick from list and pick the 2011 version as this is guaranteed working 2015 version is very buggy but i will include the drivers with the rest of the files required in the description as a download now as you can see i'm on com port 4 so we now open putty click on the serial tab and type in COM port 4, change the speed from 9600 to 115200, keeping data bits, stop bits as 8 and 1 respectively, making sure polarity is completely switched off, we don't want it on, and flow control is X on, X off. We go back to session, we hit the serial radio button, and then we hit open which will bring this lovely window up and now we're going to hit the power button on the router. Now once you do that you want to be starting to spam that T button so we can break into you boot and as you can see I spammed it enough and I'm now in what we call U boot mode. So the next thing we need to do now is load TFTP so we can send the image from the computer to the router. Make sure your Ethernet connection is active and working. And we now head over to the TFTP folder. I've got the 64-bit version, so if you're using 32, I suggest you download the 32-bit version. I will include the links in the description. Don't worry about it. I got you covered. And we run it. Now, what you instantly will see is another window, and we need to change the server interfaces from loopback 127.0.0.1 to the IP we assigned to the Ethernet adapter which is obviously 192.168.1.100 once you've done that we need to make sure that the directory we're going to be using is pointing where the actual binaries are now if you notice there's a W8980 and a W9980 we're mainly interested in the 9980 bin file so we go browse and we make sure obviously it's in set for that directory and that configuration is now done. The next thing we need to do is load up the serial tftp.txt file as this will have all the commands you require to actually cross flash your device. Now, the first command we're gonna run, as you can see, is tftp router model is the bracket. So in this case, we're doing 9980, so we go w, 9980.bin bear in mind that the file name is case sensitive so if you've got a capital W capital W put in all right now you're going to press enter and as you can see it's immediately sent the file over straight away once that's done we come to the crucial part which if you do wrong will brick your router so what I suggest we do is do the good old Windows copy and paste trick. So that's select SF arrays and the whole line. Press Control C. Right click on the mouse button in putty and then press enter. Now this is gonna take a while. So if you're a bit fristy, shoot off and get your poison light because this does take a while. So I'm gonna now pause this, come back when it's nearly finished. All right, see you guys in a bit. Hey, 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 and welcome back, guys. As you can see, the SPI flashing has still continued. And as I said, it takes, about, it takes a while, so it takes about, what, two to five minutes, depending on how good your connection is between the TTL, obviously, and the router. And um, once it finishes, it will say successfully erased, like so. Done, and go back to your U-boot command prompt vr9 hashtag what we're next going to do is now physically flash the firmware so what we're going to do is copy the sf write command 
and do the good old copy paste control C and right click mouse button and we're going to hit enter now this one takes just under a minute to actually flash and then once this is done we're nearly complete Now, as you can see, it successfully programmed the router. So what we're now going to do is reset the router with, i.e. reboot, by the way, with the word reset. And we're going to now let that, whoops, we're going to now let that fully boot up without breaking into terminal. Now, because it takes a while on the first boot, we're going to go start and win, Windows key, sorry, and R, or start run. We're going to type in C it. D, and then we're going to type in ping 192.168.1.1 space minus T and send it pinging. Once we can actually see the device, you, as you can see straight away, we can see it now. We can safely close that as we don't need it. And we shall now open your browser of choice, your poison, so to speak, and dial into 192.168.1.1. Uh, and the password, once reset, is admin and admin. I strongly suggest you kind of like redo. Now, even though I've actually resetted the device originally, I got an error code one internal error. Error, sorry. This is because there's obviously something wrong with the config, so I'm going to hit reload. You may not have this problem which as you can see I can so what I actually have to do now is go system tools factory defaults and restore it back to factory defaults sometimes it works sometimes it doesn't this takes a while so yeah I'm gonna pause again I'm apologizing for this and as soon as this finishes the reset I'll come back Right now, luckily enough, my router has now reset itself, rebooted back in, so I'm going to log back in again. Admin, admin. And as you can see, straight away, it turns around and says the firmware version is 14.06.13, and the hardware version is now classed as a TDW9980. Result, we've done it. Now, it's not over just yet, because it's best to actually update the firmware to the latest as it supports g.imp so what we do we go system tools we go firmware upgrade we go browse and we head off to the folder with it all in now in this case it went straight to my original folder but in your case it's going to be the cross flash folder and we're going to select the w9980 web gui update dot bin and then you're going to hit upgrade and yet again that would have flashed the updated firmware and the u-boot to the router and after you've done this and it boots back up and you verified it which is what we're going to do in a minute is basically done now whilst we're waiting I might as well tell you that if you want to flash backwards back to a W8980 if it floats your boat to do so you basically do exactly the same as what we've just done now but instead of using the W9980 bin file we use the W8980 file and then you update the firmware to the latest version for the W8980. It's exactly the same. You can go back and forth, left and right, with the firmware until you're happy with which one you want. But overall, the latest one from the T9980 is perfectly stable. It enables you to use VDSL, whereas the original firmware didn't. You also gain the extra guest network feature as well so yet again big thanks to shadowing and antonio tr kits sorry if i butchered that again but 
for their participation and obviously their dedication to getting this cross flash successful and I shall peace out guys and catch you later bye